the Chiefs won. I believe very much that this means a do-over year. And this is something we've been praying about, we've been considering, and looking at what's happening here, I believe that this lines up with a do-over year. We've got one more round, and we got to pray as we're going forward into this next cycle where we're picking our leaders so we can begin to see victory and righteousness shine. Look, we just finished an awesome conference, and um, <clears throat> we are able to see some of what happened uh, with the Super Bowl. And I'm just telling you, this represents a do-over year for what's happening in uh, this nation and areas around. So I believe that there is something manifesting. They're trying to say, uh, well, they're, they're saying that this team is probably the most consecutive wins, has had the most consecutive Super Bowl wins or historically. And here's the point. The point is, there is indeed a do-over God wants to bring. And this time, we're going to stand against the hijacking. We're going to stand for victory. And I know that victory will begin to happen as we break through. So in Jesus' name, we come into agreement for the do-over. A do-over for this nation. A do-over for the nations. A do-over for the apostolic chiefs to rise. A do-over for light to shine in darkness. A do-over that says this time, we're not going to see darkness prevail. Now, it's going to be strong. We've got a lot to get geared up for, but the Spirit of the Lord is saying a do-over is here. It's exactly what we saw at the beginning of the year, and what happens in Vegas won't stay in Vegas. And then you look at some of these things people are asking about cyber attacks. Well, you know, I also saw something about the day after, days following it. The bottom line is, is uh, you see things, you know in part, and you prophesy in part. And I'm still asking the Lord what all the things are that I've seen with Vegas. And uh, we're walking that out right now. I'm praying. But it's interesting, the symbolism of what's happened there with this game and where this is headed. I'm telling you, this is a do-over. And the Spirit of the Lord is saying that there's a do-over. we got to pray because I believe they're going to be trying to now induce things that will come into the flow. Induce things that try to pervert the gospel. Like the first, if you saw the opening, some of the opening commercials where they were perverting the gospel. You know, we don't say, oh, he gets me. You know what we get? We get to get him. We get him. We come to him and say, change my identity, change who I am. He's not here just to say, oh, I get you and I'm going to leave you the way I found you. Uh-uh. That's not the gospel. That's a reprobate mindset. Here's what we got to recognize. The spirit of the Lord is saying it's time for us to rise up and raise up a million to reach a billion. It's a do-over season. The do-over do -over is what happened in 20. Is a, it's a repeat, and God is wanting to manifest his goodness in the middle of this time. He wants to manifest breakthrough. So I'm still praying about what happens in Vegas, all that. You know, it's a, it's a fascinating cycle, a, a fascinating season we're in, and we got to keep standing. we got to keep standing. Jesus is Lord. Listen. <clears throat> Listen very carefully. This do-over is going to take the faith of the ecclesia. It's going to take your faith. It's going to take the faith of the body of Christ to rise up and begin to push this nefarious agenda back. This is the, the battle for your children. It's the battle for the next uh, cycle of, of the United States. I'm praying about tomorrow too. And we are in, we are in the eye of the storm. And I believe that we're going to begin to see the Spirit of the Lord advance, and he's giving the church the opportunity to rise and shine. And I believe that there's going to be ups and downs like we can't even predict all the way up to the fall time and well beyond. It's a do-over season. We've got an opportunity. It's very important what happens now going into the spring. And of course, this eclipse coming, April the 8th. This April 8th eclipse, I got to tell you, it's an X marks the spot. And I don't know if you know this. Do you know this for this eclipse? That there's at least six towns that the pathway of the eclipse will touch. And here's what they're called. Let me tell you why I'm saying this. First of all, at the beginning of the year, the Lord showed me America would experience the bowing of the knee through either fire or Nineveh. Fire or Nineveh. The six towns... that this eclipse is touching, coming along this pathway. And there might be more, but I believe there's six of them. And their name, each one of them, is Nineveh. 
Nineveh. There are six towns the eclipse will touch along the United States called Nineveh. And I'm telling you right now, America has to repent to repair. There's victory coming. This is a do-over. In other words, another opportunity. God's giving another opportunity to see victory begin to rise and shine. And X is marking the spot on this nation. It is a pivotal season. It's a pivotal time. And the Spirit of the Lord is saying, Nineveh is still the opportunity. We could still see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living, in this land, even with all that's coming. The housing market will change now. You're going to see a shaking there. You're going to see a shaking and an upheaval and an uprising. And there's going to be good and bad all at the same time. I'm telling you, it's going to be strong. The Spirit of the Lord is with you. Don't you shrink back right now. I believe God's giving us another opportunity. That's what this do-over is about. That's what happened here. We've been praying against many of the things that we are concerned about with uh, this, this whole uh, event. But the Spirit of God is with you. Don't you shrink back, not for one second. I have a lot more I have to get into throughout this next week, and I will continue to do it. And yes, we know about the, um, uh, the, the, what happened uh, at Lakewood Church and some of the uh, actions that took place there that still there's more unfolding with all these things. So we are praying. There are events taking place, and I believe there's more to be said about the day after, and there's going to be things that come out this week. we got to be praying, but listen, we got one more round. The Lord is with us. We should rejoice because he's giving us another opportunity. This eclipse is a serious deal. It's a sign to our time. Nineveh. And Jonah didn't think Nineveh would repent, but I believe America can. I believe we can hit that target, repent to repair. Jesus is Lord. I love you so much. Thank you, partners. JosephZ.com. I will be with you all the time through it all. We're so grateful to you. What an awesome conference, by the way. It was great. I got a lot more to tell you about. Thank you for standing with us. And um, thank you for standing with us at josephc.com. I'll be live again with Now News, Now Breaking Events. Jesus loves you. Listen to me. No matter what comes next, no matter what's going on, remember this. Stay in the gospel. Stay in the word of God. Jesus loves you. And there's nothing you can do about it. You might as well surrender to that fact. Repent and turn to him and follow him. This is the hour of the Lord. One more round. We got one more round. Get serious about the Lord. He's with you. We love you. I love you. I'll be with you again soon. God bless you guys. See you soon. Thank you, partners. JosephZ.com. Love you all.